Yes, welcome to JD's Kitchen. This is my new kitchen channel. Uh, quarantine time, um, uh, most of you like staying at home. Uh, some of them are not to be able Please be watchful and then it's a car you have to be at home. So, there's a lot of things to do. Um, there's no reason to be bored. Um, some of you are saying bored. Uh, so, I thought I came up with the idea. Um, uh, kitchen channel, uh, we're kitchen channel, we starting JD's Kitchen. <laughs> Uh, and a chocolate cake. I'm planning to make a chocolate cake. I know, I know what you like. You guys like chocolate cake, most of you. Come on. So, um, what I'm going to do, I've taken 250 grams um, uh, margarine. Um, it's actually, I didn't go for butter. The reason I didn't go for butter, um, once you made it, um, especially cold time, that's okay, it's getting summer. And on the cold time, once you made it, uh, more chances of getting a cut here under them. So it's get like thickened up. So you have to put it in the micro before you eat all the time. So uh, I thought the margarine, I had some suggestion. I had uh, some research along the So it uh, makes sense. The margarine uh, makes it more like um, softer uh, for, for quite a long time. Um, so I've taken 250 grams um, margarine um, and uh, Egg one there. Um, I've gone for four eggs. Um, then I've like a brown and a sipping here, so it's actually free range and uh, normal egg as well. So what I had. Um, normally people suggest two or three, um, two or three um, eggs. Then suggest one away, but I went for four. Uh, it's personal choice. You three or any part of otherwise two okay. And um, the four I prefer because it's a homemade cake, so you want to feel more comfortable. Uh, in, tastes nice and soft so I went for one more extra egg, four eggs um, and the flour, self-rising flour I've been 225 grams I went for because 225 grams um, self-rising flour and 25 grams chocolate chocolate powder so I went for if you don't have um, um, self-rising flour in gonna say lamanda you can put normal uh, plain flour and uh, if you're doing 20, 250 gram, um, you can put like two teaspoons of uh, baking powder. Climax motor solra. Sir, uh, So it makes it more soft. And I went for the sugar, 250 gram um, sugar, uh, I think on that. And the vanilla. What I'm planning to do, I'm going to chocolate to my children. Um, and then I'm going to add up a small chocolate as well. Should we start? Ready yet? Okay, let's start. Come on. First of all, you need to clean the hands. As you are in a quarantine time, and what do you have to clean? I learned 20 seconds ago, and what do you have to do? I know you, even though I'm going to use a spoon and everything, I'm still going to clean it properly. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put the margarine. Okay, I'm going to put the sugar as well for now. Okay, I'll blend it a bit. Um, but you allow blend for need a group. Um, put it on first egg. I'm gonna put the first egg. Uh, first I'll put one. And make sure blending everything properly. Okay. It's now time to add the flour. I'm going to put chocolate flour as well. The chocolate has been melted. So you can see more like a kind of a creamy now. I'm going to add it up with that. Okay, now I'm going to blend it properly. So 
you have to like blend it properly like this um so nice and you can actually see now it's all kind of proper mixed uh, and i'm gonna like it now it's the time to add the vanilla so we're just going to mix so now actually you can smell it and the flavor but there's one more thing i forgot to mention earlier at the beginning um this been my mom's uh, special recipe milk powder on there a little cognac um two teaspoons of the water maybe put some water and uh, mix it just for the smell it's like a vanilla essence it's a uh, it's a bit touch you don't need to put too much just for the just for the flavor It's time on um, it's proper blended now so I'm happy with that so now we're gonna prepare the tray so I put the baking paper on top of the tray and so especially when you put the cake there, when you, when you take it, once it's a bit cooked, baked, but when you take the cake out, it's, it doesn't actually stick to the paper or anything, and it's kind of smoother like a mother cake. Okay, now I'm gonna pour the, the blended cake um, liquid into the tray. We need to make sure that we balance it out properly. So we do that kind of like evens up. It looks nice and even. Oh, not like that. Okay, now there's another technique my mom used to do. Actually, you normally use a finger for that. Try with it. You can see that uh, delicious tray is ready, trailer cake with um, liquid ready. So I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to set it up for 190, just about 200. So the oven is ready. We need to leave it for like another oh, five or ten minutes to make it a bit more warmer. So I've already done it. So I'm going to just stick it straight away into the oven. See you in a bit. See in about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Okay. Guys, finally the cake is ready, as you can see here. Nice, looks nice. I'm just gonna try a piece. This is my favorite. Always the corner piece, the sides. So, wow. Let me try a piece of it. nice I'm sure you would like it as well so you have seen all of all my recipes how I made and everything so if you you can make it same and if you liked it you can always thank me thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you your cooperation master thank you you can write the comment and um, you know you can tell your opinion and also i would like to know especially in quarantine time i would like to know what you guys are doing what you've been up to 
and uh, have been doing this in night cooking services. But uh, I would like to know what's your opinion, what you're doing. So you can write a comment and uh, let me know. If there's any opinion, if there's anything needs to be improved, you can tell me as well. So I, I can actually improve on the next project. Okay. Thank you. See you soon.